to my channel my name is Nelly if this is your first time seeing this face you're absolutely welcome to this face on this channel I do videos about studying in Japan videos centered around my life in Japan and I share my unpopular opinions about things just like I will be doing in today's video so if this kind of content is appealing to you I recommend that you please subscribe to this channel so in today's video I'll be talking about the backlash that Biggie 237 has been getting or the negative rating that Biggie 237 has been getting on social media especially on Twitter Biggie 237 is a Cameroon reality TV show it is organized by a group of Cameroonians from a town in Cameroon known as Ndop. Ndop is found in the northwest region of Cameroon. Biggie is just to show that it's like Big Brother and then the 237 comes from Cameroon's telephone code. So the show is in two phases. You have the first phase and you have the second phase. So the first phase, the contestants were out of the house, but then they were given tasks to do and complete in a 30 seconds video and this first phase lasted for two months and then in the second phase they moved into the biggie house so they have daily tasks they have one day of week night out they have one day of weekend house parties with an invited celebrity and they just have a couple of interesting things that they do while in the house so that's the difference between this one and any other Big Brother show. For this, they had two phases. The first phase was like the social media phase where they had to do things and then they post on social media. And then the second phase is the house. So there's a live broadcast of this show on BT Media, but then you can get the rebroadcast on Hi TV and you all can also watch it on Facebook. And there's also the YouTube Biggie channel where you can watch the show. So now that you have an idea of what the Biggie 237 show is all about, I'm going to be giving my unpopular opinion about all the drama that has been going on regarding the show. So what sparked the backlash was because while some Cameroonians were trying to promote the show and trying to make other people to see that such a show exists in Cameroon, some others were actually supporting Nigerians in bringing down the show and saying that the, the quality of the show is not as good as Nigeria's Big Brother. So the very first thing I think is this idea is a very brilliant one. Like, I'm so proud of the organizers of this Biggie 237 show. For the longest show. time, Cameroonians have always wanted a platform like Big Brother. And to think that now we have our own Big Brother really makes me very happy. Because I know that so many Cameroonians have wanted to participate in Big Brother Africa when it was still going on. But then Cameroonians were not allowed to participate and Cameroonians have also been very active in the Big Brother Niger show. I know so many Cameroonians who watch the show, who support the show, who even have their favorites in the house and then they vote for them and they equally campaign that people should vote for them. So I know that Cameroonians enjoy such content. So the initiative should be encouraged and not discouraged. To those who have been castigating the show, to those who have been bringing down the show, to those who have been comparing the show to Big Brother Nigeria, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. If you look at when Big Brother Nigeria started and you compare it with what they are doing today, it's not the same. So this is the first season of Biggie 237. You cannot compare it with Big Brother Nigeria that has been existing for a couple of years and expect that the quality of the Biggie 237 show is going to be the same as the quality of Big Brother Nigeria show. That's absolutely not correct. Equally, the Big Brother Nigeria show is being organized by multi-choice. And if you know who Multi Choice is, Multi Choice is the same organizer of the Big Brother Africa show. Multi Choice is an entertainment company. On the Multi Choice, you have platforms such as Supersport, DSTV, GoTV, Mnet, Showmax, DSTV Media, and so much more. So tell me, how do you compare a platform this big, an entertainment platform this big of this magnitude? to a small group of people from a particular region of a country who have just sat together put resources to be able to come up with this platform to help their people i mean you cannot compare the two dstv is out to make profits so they can put their money where they see that 
money is going to come from and they can make this big brother show to be as big in such a way that it can be able to compare in quotes with other big brother from different countries so there's no reason why we should compare biggie 237 show to the big brother nigeria show the next thing that i want to bring in mind is sponsors so if you pay attention you will know that there are so many sponsors for the big brother nigeria show you have golda you have legend you have big names you even have bet niger as the official sponsor of this show please tell me who's sponsoring biggie 237 show no one exactly so this show is fully funded by this small group of people so don't get me wrong i'm not saying the show is perfect or i'm not saying that the positive criticisms that have been spoken about the show cannot be taken into consideration but then i'm just saying that in as much as we have things to say about the show let's say it in a way that we will help the producers and the initiators of the show to be able to get something positive from what is being said as opposed to just bringing down the show bringing down the whole idea of cameroon's first reality show but what i'm saying is that in as much as we have many things to say let's also support our own you know let's watch our show let's promote our show let's talk good things about the show because big brother nigeria the popularity it has today is because nigerians supported the show they watched the show they hyped the show and that's why even non nigerian got to know about the show I mean I don't follow anyone from Big Brother Nigeria but then on my social media pages like I see so many things about Big Brother Nigeria and this is just because so many Nigerians get to talk about this thing they get to post about it they are happy about it they're excited about it so let's also promote our own let's spread good vibes about our own platform this is just what I wanted to say about everything that has been going on on social media. This video is not out to bash anyone. This video is not out to condemn what anyone has said or to criticize what anyone is saying. It's just so that we can also see that there's no reason to compare the Big Brother Nigeria show with Biggie 237. I mean, speaking of the big brother nigeria big brother nigeria should not be the default so first of all big brother did not originate in nigeria secondly the big brother nigeria show is not the best when you compare it with other big, seen big brother usa or you've seen big brother canada then you will know that even the big brother nigeria organizing team has a lot of work to be done to be able to get to that level yeah this is just what i wanted to say about everything that has been going on on social media like i said before i'm proud of the organizers of this show i'm happy about the platform that they are giving for cameroonians and i hope that this show can continue to run for as long as they have the resources to run it so yeah what do you think about all what i said do you agree with me or you disagree with me leave it in the comment section in fact let's continue this conversation in the comment section below so thank you so much for staying tuned with me see you in the next video goodbye